If you're paying for web hosting, there's a chance that you might not have to. Uh, there are services out nowadays, uh, like the one I'll show you in this video, Netlify, that give you free web hosting indefinitely, uh, as long as your website doesn't have any sort of backend. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, your website is just HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript. As long as there's no uh, Node.js, then your website is static. Uh, that means that there's really no computation that needs to be going on on the server that's hosting your website. It's really just hosting a page. And then uh, the client's computers, because JavaScript is a client-side language, uh, they actually do all the computation. So it's really cheap to host in uh, just an HTML, CSS, JavaScript website. Uh, that services actually offer it for free nowadays. Uh, there's services like GitHub Pages that do this, uh, and the one that I prefer called Netlify. Uh, so in this video, I'll show you how to use Netlify, how to set up your account for free, uh, and how to get hosting your project for absolutely free, so you can stop paying uh, those hosting fees for something that you don't really need. Okay, so uh, to start, go ahead and open up a web browser of your choice. You go to netlify.com. Uh, you'll see this web page here. Go ahead and click sign up or log in if you so please. Uh, you can see that you can sign up slash log in with GitHub, which is really helpful. Uh, I would recommend doing that if you have a GitHub account, uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to create an account with a temporary email. Uh, just one second. Okay, so uh, once you log in uh, and verify your email, you'll see a page like this. Uh, note that you do have a bandwidth limit uh, and you can only build for so much time if you're using more complicated front-end frameworks that require a, uh, a build to be processed. But uh, I found that I haven't used these limits at all on uh, my, my account yet. Uh, and if you get to a point where you're using 100 gigabytes of uh, bandwidth, you can upgrade uh, to a paid plan. But this is cheaper than hosting anyway, and typically, like, for example, host plan bandwidth. Uh, and you can see actually that uh, apparently 99% uh, of websites on the web currently use no more than five gigabytes of bandwidth. Uh, so odds are, if you're watching this video, you probably don't need even 100 gigabytes of bandwidth. And I found that I personally have never reached this limit using Netlify. Uh, but if you do, then uh, you're probably suffering from success and you can go ahead and buy a uh, plan from Netlify or some other place, but odds are you're not using 100 gigabytes of bandwidth anyway. Uh, so anyway, to make a website, uh, there are several ways to do this. You can link Netlify to a GitHub repository, and then you get uh, automatic updating, and it just links straight to GitHub. It's very convenient. Another way to do this, though, that is also convenient is, let's say I make a quick uh, folder here called test, uh, and in VS Code, I'll just open test up. And we'll just add a quick HTML file in here really quick. Uh, .html. And I'll just say, hello world. Uh, because this is a programming tutorial on the internet, so I have to do that. Uh, you can actually just drag the folder right in. Uh, and then it says deployed. Uh, you can add a custom domain if you so please, but it'll automatically set you up with a netlify.app domain. Uh, so it'll just give you a subdomain of their Netlify domain. And you can see it automatically, just like that, I didn't speed up this video or anything, uh, automatically put our website on. Uh, so you can see that the domain it, it is just this weird random string of letters, and that might seem weird to you at first, uh, but it's quite easy to change if you just go to site settings uh, and then uh, change site name. And you can change it to pretty much whatever you want. So if I wanted to just name this Hello World by Mike, uh, it looks like that is available. And you can see that it immediately changed that domain name. Uh, another thing you can do actually is to link a custom domain. So if you bought a domain, uh, for example, uh, I own mikes.me, I could link that domain, and I have on my other my main Netlify account, uh, to this uh, hosted file, uh, and then it would automatically go. You can see that uh, if I go to mikes.me, uh, this is just a little portfolio game I made. Uh, with JavaScript. Uh, so this is a static website, believe it or not, even though it's a game. Uh, this is just JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Uh, so this was able to be hosted on Netlify, and it is currently, and I was able to link my domain to it. Uh, you can see it also gives you the uh, HTTPS uh, connection secured, which is really nice because that's kind of a pain to set up if you've messed with that uh, hosting a regular domain. And uh, if I go to sites, I can add a new site by simply dragging in 
uh, this file. Uh, so I uploaded my uh, that same ring game to this here. Uh, and if I go to this link here, you can see that it uploaded again immediately. Uh, so it's just super convenient for setting stuff up. And if you're making little portfolio projects like this or really anything, uh, uh, you can just immediately upload that and then have a running portfolio without having to pay for hosting. Uh, and uh, all, your only cost will be your domain if you so please. Uh, so yeah, it's just super convenient and I thought I would show you guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, and have a great day.